Now I want to keep it with this topic. And getting the women and the children back to their homeland takes a lot of brave men and women willing to risk it all, not only to conduct missions to retrieve them safely, but also missions to try and put these scum of the earth out of business for good. As Jaco, or Jaco rather, just stated, his organization works with several nonprofit groups out there who conduct these dangerous missions, all in an effort to save the innocent. One of those groups is Veterans for Child Rescue. Their teams are made up of former special forces, military professionals, former and current law enforcement officers, along with senior intelligence community veterans who specialize in child trafficking. Craig Sawyer is the founder of Veterans for Children Rescue. He's also a Marine and a Navy SEAL. He joins me now to discuss all they are doing to save lives around the globe. Craig, welcome to Real America. Notice I didn't say former because if you're a Marine, once a Marine, always a Marine. And if you made it through SEAL training and are a SEAL, by golly, you're always a SEAL. Uh, but first and foremost, thank you and God bless you, not only to your service to the country, but what you're doing now with this nonprofit, going on these missions and rescuing people. I just had your friend uh, Yako on right before you. I don't know if you could hear his interview, but he talked about somewhere around only 1% of these poor children and women that are trafficked get rescued. And the numbers are staggering and astonishing, especially, and I'm gonna say it, under the last 14 months of this administration, this regime. So I know you guys are working hard. Uh, talk to me about how you got involved and started your organization. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, Dan. Of course. An important topic and one that affects us all, whether we each realize it yet or not. So. After a career in the spec ops community and federal law enforcement and some in the intelligence community and uh, even diplomatic community, I started learning more about child trafficking and how pervasive it was here mm -hmm. in the United States. And I thought, wait a minute, why am I deploying to foreign countries anymore, trying to prevent evil from coming here to the United States and harming those that I'm fighting to defend when child trafficking is at a rampage it's an industrial scale right now in the United States, 38 to $50 billion a year enterprise, fastest growing criminal enterprise on earth. In a lot of places, it's already surpassed narcotics as the number one criminal enterprise. So I thought, why would I go anywhere else now? I'm gonna fight for our children and our homeland. And just as a busted up veteran and father, what can I do? And so I decided, that exposing it was job one, because in coming from a covert background, you realize that if, if you're running a covert operation, a secret operation in an enemy territory, the worst thing that could happen to you is to get compromised, have the enemy, the locals learn what you're doing, that you're there and what you're doing, because then they're going to be chasing you. Right. And that's really the, the dynamic I'm determined to create for child traffickers here in the United States, create a hostile environment, a non-permissive environment for them to harm our children on an industrial scale here, because the populists are still generally unwitting to it. They, we all deserve to be educated on it much more thoroughly than we are. So I founded Vets for Child Rescue. I spent three years filming a documentary, Contraland, to reveal how it really looks, a lot of how it came about and what we can do about it. So man, I've been fighting in that capacity ever since, Dan, and it's it feels right, but, but boy, it's ugly. Man, when it you is. step in the arena to do good uh, and you're you're facing evil, confronting an evil criminal enterprise like this, boy, they're going to come slander you and smear you. And you, you know it, just like stepping into the political arena. It's no different. They use the same tactics. It's the oh, yeah. same. Been there, done that. Greg. Oh, been there. Really? <laughs> I ran for Congress and I work at OAN. <laughs> been there, done that. Come on. When you, you talk it. about mudslinging and death threats, you and I are probably, we could talk for hours. <laughs> The good thing is but we don't care, right? Right, right. right. Yeah. We, we don't care yeah. anymore. They, sling no. all the mud, tell all the lies, make all the threats you want, bring it. Well, um, you have to resign yourself to it. If you're, if you're going to do good in this day and age, you have to just realize that's what my wife would refer to as gift with purchase, right? It just comes with the territory. Yeah. You have to realize that's part of the part of the war and just go make war anyway and fight for good. Yeah. You know, Yako told me um, when he told me to reach out to you that not only are you doing the special ops missions to rescue folks, but you're also on a mission, as you just said, to create a hostile environment here at home so they don't operate. You're actually taking the fight to them. You're trying to go out and put them out of business. I'm talking about the bad guys, the actual traffickers, right? Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, we, we run very effective joint operations with federal and local law enforcement 
primarily sting operations and other operations on the border, uh, stopping the traffickers, arresting them. Uh, we've got 100% conviction rate on the predators we've arrested so far. Oh, sweet. And we're Love expanding more and more rapidly now. So we've... Good for you. Uh, yeah. Are there yeah, numbers you can discuss? I know a lot of the stuff you've got to keep secret on what you do and how the missions are conducted because you don't want the bad guys knowing what you're doing so we can stop these scum and get these kids and women back home. But to date, you've been doing it a couple of years now, you said. Um, what do you think numbers? How many have you put out of business and how many people have you rescued? Do you know? Well, we've got 23 predator arrests with 100% conviction rate. We've got a lot more assists than that. We've got a few rescues. Um, small numbers of rescues. Uh, the first one was really the most motivating and uh, she'd been out there for a while and she's on to a better life now and it's and it's inspiring to see her thrive. But statistically, you know, I've just, I've jotted some things down to share with people if, if people care to know. Yeah, phone the numbers, that, hit them. Yeah. One out of three, it's estimated, children that are that are runaways that are out there are lured into trafficking within the first 48 hours. Mm. And these, a lot of these stats are really difficult for these agencies to nail down because it's such a covert criminal enterprise. A lot of the children are never seen or heard from again. So there's yeah. there's a degree of I know Yaku said only like 1% get rescued globally, and we know that yeah. millions are trafficked, 100,000 or so from here. I mean... This I, I thought it'd be, I knew it was bad, but that's it? Like, we have yeah, got well, to get word out. I want to offer this to you. I, I want to talk to your documentary. It's out, you said? It is. 90-minute documentary? Yes. yes, it is. Where Contra can they find that? Free as a public service alert in good faith on ContraLandMovie.com. We urge everybody not only to watch it, but to share it with everybody you care about. And how do we support your nonprofit? We want to give you cash to get up more of these missions going to put more of this trash out of business and also bring these folks home. How do we do that? Thank you. We've got a secure um, funding function, donate function on our website, vetsforchildrescue.org. You see it on the ticker there. Okay. We appreciate you mentioning that because that helps drive the train. Of course. Craig Sawyer, the founder of vetsforchildrenrescue.org. They're doing great work. I would love to, uh, if we're allowed to, I know there's a lot of secrecy involved, someday get our cameras out with you and the team when you do something as much as we could see to show that. I also am going to express to the owners of the network that maybe we should try and air your documentary sometime soon, one of these weekends on our network, so people see it okay. and they realize right. what in the hell is going on. Craig Sawyer, thank you so much, and God bless you for what you're doing. Thank you, Dan.